She runs a successful law firm in Greensboro, and you would think that would take all of her time. But Janet Ward Black finds an enormous amount of time to volunteer and help various causes throughout our community. We serve people in our practice, and that's what we like to do in the community as well. We think there should be no scene, that it should be absolutely seamless between our service to the people that we represent, as well as to the people in our community. Well, we look very hard when we're making a decision about volunteering to find what's best in class. What are people talking about? What are organizations where people say they're running their organization well, they're responsible with how they spend their money, and then are they making a real impact? Do they do things on purpose and on paper? Are they measuring what they're doing? And in such a way that we feel like that's a good investment of either time or finances and that we should get on board. I think one of the issues that's on a lot of people's mind right now is homelessness. And one of the things that was stunning to me over the last year or so was to recognize that there are over 2,000 children in the Guilford County Schools who are actually homeless. I think most of us can't even imagine that that's the case for an adult but then when we think about children, it's really staggering. The Queens Foundation is an extraordinary organization that identifies young women who just don't have a chance to get to college a lot of times. They have the academic ability, but they just don't have the, the maybe social skills or the networking skills or the collaboration skills or just the people they know to be able to figure out, yes, I can do this, I can go to college. So it's great for us to help partner with the Queen's Foundation to make first-generation young women, make that a reality for them to be able to go to college. Well, I think what next is hopefully to grow what we're doing in the business. Uh, we started about 18 months ago uh, giving away 10% of our gross revenue. Uh, it's a, it was a step of faith for us, but what we now know by watching that unfold over the last year and a half is keeping 90% is actually a lot. And really all that does is pay for our staff and keep the lights on. But that 10% where we're trying to identify best-in-class nonprofits, we're really changing our community and changing our world.